Hi, this is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is this story. A preacher from Houston has been ordered to pay over $2 million after spreading genital herpes to a woman that he met on Facebook. So look, according to the reports, the attorney who's representing the woman said, my client met the pastor on Facebook and two or three days after having unprotected sex with him, she began to have an outbreak. She confronted him and asked him, what's going on with me? And he told her, my child's mother gave me her peas. When asked did he know before they had sex if he had herpes or not, he said, yes, this was done intentionally and my client would have to deal with this for the rest of her life. He knew he was infected and we have evidence to prove it. Listen, you are supposed to be cleansing people, not infecting people. This is why I say you can't always give a person benefit of the doubt just because they a preacher, just because they always going in the church. These people are just like you. And as you can see, they jumping in people inbox to have sex just like the heathens that they claim that they against. And how do a preacher even have two million dollars to give? Where do he even get the $2.4 million from? I ain't never heard of him for one. And the woman said, by him doing me like this, this made me feel like he didn't care about me. He didn't care about you. Why would you think he cared about you? Do you think he cared about you because he slept with you? He met you on Facebook. Shortly after meeting you on Facebook, y'all had sex. Just because a person has sex with you, it doesn't mean that they care about you. And she said, he never denied having herpes when I asked him. He just said, my child's mother gave it to me. You're answering your own question now. When you said he made you feel like he didn't care about you, he didn't. Why am I breaking out in sores? Why do I have blisters between my legs? Oh, I got, I got herpes. My, my baby mama gave him to me. He's not acting like he don't care about you. He's showing you that he don't care about you. And my thing is this. If you met him on Facebook and he wasn't a preacher, would you have made him wear a condom? Or did you think just because he's a pastor that it's impossible for him to have STDs? These pastors are regular men. They out to do the same thing that regular men are out to do. Anybody that's trying to meet you in your inbox instead of meeting you in person, nine times out of 10 is probably just about sex. And trust me, if he could give his child's mother the first lady, because if he had passed, I'm pretty sure his wife is the first lady. If he could give the first lady of the church her peace, trust me, you don't stand a chance. And to answer your question again, no, he didn't care about you. You felt like he didn't care because he didn't. 